Exactly. Are you rolling? Yeah. Look, he's rolling. Hey, check it out. It's Matt Eisenberg. Hey, what's up? I'm uh, home in Denver, Nate. In town for uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at uh, Comedy Works Landmark. You can get on to ComedyWorks.com, find the uh, showtimes and all that. I won't bore you with all of that, but we know this guy. He's even got the colors on. I'm today. wearing the colors despite we, this season. we got to start there. You... You can actually sit and completely and totally make fun of them because of what you do for a living. I have to try to analyze it. There's nothing funny about it, though. No, it's, so it's depressing. I'm going to make you put the analyst hat on for All a right. second instead of the comedian hat. As a Broncos fan, as right. someone who is from here, what in the world is wrong? Honestly, and this is what I've said. In John, we trust. I believe in Elway. I think the moves he's made, I mean, from the moment he got rid of Tim Tebow and brought in Peyton, he's taken us to two, two Super Bowls and won. His blind spot, though, is picking quarterbacks. I, and I think he's he's looking to recreate himself or something. But I, you know, between Simeon and Osweiler and Lynch, I don't think any of those three are the solution. And I think the offense knows it. The offense is struggling, and I think the defense is getting disappointed. Going, you mean we're gonna have to score the points as well? Yeah, exactly. So it's it's been hard to watch. I mean, I, I on, and and I hate saying this, but I'm still one of those guys that I'm still good. I'm still, you know the. Getting another Super Bowl with Peyton and, and beating Carolina, that that's going to carry me for a few years. And I also feel like between Bolin and Elway, uh, this franchise, you know, when you look at what the Rockies or the Nuggets or the Avalanche have done, I think the Broncos have been a model. So I don't want to take I don't want to take the pressure off of you, John. But I, I still feel good. Like if we have a losing season, I'm still I'm going to be hurt, but there's still my team. Okay, so if he can't, if he doesn't have that eye in the draft for a quarterback, that would imply that he should go sign one. Is, yes. Is it Manning 2.0? Oh, oh, I for thought you? you were going to say, is it Matt Eisman? No, no, it's not no. You. I know, I've seen you throw. Yeah, look, 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 is, is it Manning 2.0? Is it somebody thing, else? Here's the thing. I think is that any free agent quarterback particularly seeing what happened to Peyton Manning, where you get kind of cast aside by a team or you're disrespected by a team or, or someone sees you as over. You come here, you know you're gonna have a defense that's gonna be pitching shutouts, so you're not gonna have to be the hero. But to be a capable quarterback, to come to a place with John Elway, who you know understands the pieces a quarterback needs, where he's done a good job, I think, surrounding, you know, giving you enough talent, some targets. So, you know, you look at a guy, Kirk Cousins, I think he's got to be getting sick of Daniel Snyder. And to come here with the Bolins and Elway, I think this, this coming to Denver, unlike baseball, for football, I think everybody's got to think this is a franchise I want to be a part of because it's a winning franchise. Did you like seeing what the Rockies were able to do this year? I know it was the one game wild card so, and then you're out, but are, are you enough of a baseball fan? Did you dial into that? So here, what does that mean for you? Yeah, I, I, my dad has had season tickets since day one and my dad has developed a pen pal relationship with Dick Monfort to the point where uh, my dad, and I played baseball growing up, you know, at Cherry Creek High School, played in college, and my dad, you know, doesn't miss a game. He's gotten so mad at Monfort. Monfort wrote him a letter and goes, tell me how much money you've spent since 93 on season tickets and I will write you a check to go away. Wow. My dad has offered a lot of opinions. Look, I was thrilled to see him <laughs> make it into the wild card. I, I, and I understand, I, I think Colorado has the opposite, the, the Rockies have the opposite problem of the Broncos where, you know, God, I'm blocking his name from Atlanta, the free agent pitcher who signed here for, you know, 120 million. Oh yeah, you, tanked, you got kicked in. Tanked, then goes to, I don't know, St. Louis and ends up being good again where you're like, no pitcher's ever gonna wanna come play for the Rockies because your ERA is gonna go up. You're gonna be giving away home run balls. I just think, unfortunately for the Rockies, this is a really tough park and it's always gonna be, we're gonna have to rely on offense. So I was, I, I, I was thrilled with what I saw, but I still don't think that the Rockies uh, are, are, I don't feel them as a winning franchise. And part of the problem, it's what we saw at Wrigley Field with the Cubs for a very long time where it doesn't matter what product they put on the field. Coors Field is gorgeous. Denver in the summer is beautiful. 40,000 people are going to show up to watch a team that's sub 500. Yeah. So you're gonna, you're there's not a lot of pressure to put a winning product You're going to get fans and a good game experience no matter what you wind it, up doing. It is a gorgeous field. 
Talk to us about what you've been up to, because it seems like every time I turn a corner, uh, I've either got you on social media, I've yeah. got you in a video, I've got I you know, doing I tweet a lot, a lot I've of got you doing, uh, I got you doing uh, Ninja Warrior. Yeah. I got you, you're you're all over the place. It's been great. Talk I mean, I'm, I'm so American Ninja Warrior. We just shot the spinoff show, American Ninja Warrior, Ninja vs. Ninja, which is going to be on the USA Network. That's going to be airing, uh, I think, in January or February. We're gearing up for the new season of Ninja Warrior. We're we're going to be doing a live tour experience. I'm doing stand up. I'm here next week. I'm at the Improv in San Antonio. And I've been doing a lot of charitable stuff. So, you know, Celebrity Apprentice, I won that. My charity was the Arthritis Foundation. I'm still involved with them. Schwarzenegger has roped me into his charity, the After School All Stars, um, Operation Smile. Um, so, I've been working a lot, you know, realizing the power of, of having left medicine and realizing what I do is silly. You know, I, I love entertainment, but it's silly. And to have the opportunity to make an impact through some charitable work. It's the kind of thing where it, it makes my parents a little more proud. So I, they let me stay at home when I'm in town. <laughs> in the basement or in, is it? In my those? room that is unchanged really? since June of 89 okay, so tell when me, I graduated from high school. Tell, tell to me about what's on the walls then. I've got the Predator poster from Schwarzenegger. I sleep under Michael Jordan uh, dunking over Kenny Walker. I've got uh, like the Supreme Court. I mean, I've got the old field generals with like Jim Kelly and Dan Marino and Dan mm -hmm. Fouts. All the old Nike posters, Dwight Gooden. I've got Elway up there. Nolan Ryan, who was my pitching hero, some SI swimsuit covers. I was gonna say, where's the, where's Kathy Well, I was embarrassed Ireland. to put it up. No, where's it was Al McPherson, Milano, Paulina Poroskova. Those were the, the women back in the day, but I was embarrassed to put it up because I didn't want my mom to know what was going on down there. So it's mostly, it's mostly the great Nike and Sports Illustrated posters of the 80s. And like all my, my Cherry Creek swag and some of my Princeton baseball swag that I've, Swag, you know Swag. The, the hats. Like I've got my old. I, it is, it is, it is. It still smells like Dracar Noir. It is so. 80s. Your oh my good, really? Ooh. It's I know it's not. It's, your favorite like trophy or whatever that is still in your room. What are you most proud of that's still up on the shelf? Um, I've got a baseball. Well, it's actually in my dad's. I give it to my dad. So my 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 Super Bowl moment was not at Cherry Creek, it was in college. I was on the mound when we won the league, Princeton, we beat Dartmouth and I pitched a complete game, uh, three hit, one run game, and beat a guy, Bob Bennett, who ended up going pro. And I got the game ball and I got to give it to my dad, who was at the game. And it was one of those moments where I'm like, you know, he put up with a lot of crap with, <laughs> with me with sports. And to be able to have a moment where he's there, he gets to see the game, the guy who played catch with me since the time I was, four years old to give him the game ball. He's got that. So I think that's that's the most proud trophy uh, that I've got. That and and uh, an autographed card from Schwarzenegger saying, congratulations. <laughs> Those are the two things. Welcome back to Denver. It's Thanks, good to see man. you, man. It's Com always good to be here. Comedy Works, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. Comedyworks.com. Make sure you get your tickets. Anytime this guy comes to town, it is worth a night out. I guarantee it. Thanks for stopping by Mile High Sports. Thank you, bud. Thanks, man. Perfect.